Hi everybody, this is Brad. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Zoom client for virtual meetings. There are multiple virtual uh, video conferencing tools out there, but Zoom seems to be the most common. Uh, so I will start there. And so what you want to do is find the email that the meeting organizer sent you. In that, there will be a URL. Click it! And it'll open up a Zoom page where it will try and hopefully in your case succeed to automatically download the client. If it doesn't, you can see you can just click right here and download it manually. Click Save File. I'm using, Safari, I'm using Firefox. And so up here is where all my downloads go. So I click that and start the install. Uh, it takes a few seconds. Sometimes it stops right here at 90% and leaves you hanging for a little bit. But uh, that's why you want to get to the meeting a little early in case you do have to install this. And it gives you time to get all the way to that 100%. Once it's there, it's going to launch the client it just installed and automatically throw you into the meeting that was there, uh, that, that was in the email. And so here it's going to ask you to join the audio so that the people in the meeting can hear you, which would be great. You want to go ahead and check this off if you want to automatically turn on the audio. And you click join with computer audio and it'll say you're using the computer audio and down here it will be your video by default it's not going to automatically start showing your video which is a good thing because you want to be able to make sure you're ready for it and so if you want to turn it on go ahead and click start video and there it is and so that i'm actually going to stop that because it's really big in my face and i don't want to look at myself right now and so here you would be seeing uh, someone else's screen if they're sharing the screen or it, you would hear other people talking. You can see I am talking right now. Um, but that is how you would join a, a meeting with Zoom. Uh, if you run into anything, you can email me at bmckenna at wilmlibrary.org. Okay, thanks and stay safe.